quick look at things in the garden. Tried to do this earlier, but the uh, battery was dead, so we'll try again. It's late in the day, it's almost 7 o'clock, uh, so we'll try to get it while we still have a little bit of sun. Warm day. We did have a little bit of rain this week. Uh, it's much needed here. Most of the state of uh, Pennsylvania is in drought conditions. But some things are looking quite well. Uh, we'll go over here and uh, take a look at this. This is the cherry tree that was bloom. I'm sorry there's no sun there. But hopefully you can see the uh, last week we had the blossoms. And there's still some hanging on there. But as you can see... There's quite a few cherries on this little tree, and it's two years old. And I'll go down and show you the plums uh, in the on the plum tree. Okay, we're standing here at the end of, of the uh, upper part of the lower garden, and of course there you can see the herb, and of course the right there uh, the uh, let's see, no, that's the wrong plant can't see the screen here but uh, the uh, uh, comfrey has got lots of blooms in it. and maybe you can see the bees there uh, some one there I saw some moving uh, and uh, of course uh, the strawberries are are blooming nicely and the blueberries I got uh, blueberries in plugs they were quite reasonable but then I found out why uh, they might have been an inch inch and a half high I have to carry water out every day or every other day as dry as it is uh, to, to keep them until they get some roots but they have uh, tripled in size already and it's only about two weeks maybe two to three weeks I can't remember grapes are starting to push out uh, the uh, has caps still look uh, look like they're doing okay. Uh, I haven't been successful with them in the past, uh, trying something different, but then I got them little plugs, and you get what you pay for. Okay, we'll walk down into the garden. Well, we're standing here in the, between the blackberries and the hazelnuts, and of course, uh, over there you can see that row of peas over there is up very nicely. I didn't get the trellis up yet for that row or this row, but this row can stand to come, get a little taller. I have three varieties planted. Blackberries are starting to push out some. Uh, here's the third row of uh, sugar snaps. And of course, uh, uh, I have a trellis with some wire that somebody was gonna throw away. And uh, I told him, well, I'll, I'll use it. Uh, it's not the prettiest stuff in the world, but it, I've used it now three years, and it's worked just it's worked better than uh, the string I've used in the past. Uh, we'll look over here at the almond tree, and uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, there's some little. Uh, not as big as the uh, plums will be, but there is is some some uh, little uh, little things going on here on this. Uh, this so there's one that's a little bit bigger, and uh, of course uh, raspberries, plants that need to be dug and moved. Uh, that was a single plant. I uh, wish I'd never planted sunchokes. I didn't plant them here; they planted themselves. And uh, they just, just everywhere. Uh, uh, okay, row of onions, two rows of onions. Uh, cabbage, cabbage, uh, broccoli, or cauliflower and broccoli. And some cabbage down at the end of that row. Uh, of course, in between the cabbage, there's red beets and it really needs they'd, they'd like to have a little more moisture as would the potatoes I see that there's a couple that have poked their head up there and then that row just beyond that is a my wife's shallots and they have they're starting to take off they they seem to like the warmth a little better than 
uh, and it's it's in the mid 80s today and very humid uh, uh, that's the uh, lower garden and uh, things are coming along um, uh, the course uh, down there at the end that tree right there is the um, a quince tree and it's bloomed it's blooming and oh I promise you I show you the plum I'll turn this off and we'll walk over and look at that now I don't know if you can see them but in there right there there's wait I don't see my finger where is it oh has to be oh there it is there there you can see there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of little plums all over this tree and uh, last year it got so heavy that the, the limb broke uh, I'll probably try to thin it if I can get the time but there you can see oh, this tree is just so beautiful with the flowers and uh, after waiting for years for it to make and then really pruning it I mean I pruned this thing so hard I thought I'd kill it and uh, that's what it took to make it uh, a bloom. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching, and until uh, next time, Lord bless.